guys, um, I just thought I'd do another video. I really had this topic on my mind that I really want to speak about because it's something I feel that is so personal to me and then really personal to others. I feel like a lot of people can relate that we all go through this. Um, and just a heads up, I am driving home and the sun is beautiful right now. So, but it's completely safe because I have it up on the dashboard and I'm not touching it and I'm going to keep my eyes on the road. So. Um, so the topic I wanted to talk about is being yourself, not being afraid to be yourself, finding who you are, who you want to be, um, just feeling ease and confident, being who you are around every person, not just certain people, not shy with one person and outgoing with another, but just being able to be who you are and express who you are in any environment with any person. Um, so for me, I know that around middle school, high school, it was really hard for me, and I think it is for all of us, to uh, learn and try to think of who we are as far as, you know, what do we want to be, who are our friends going to be, are we going to be outgoing, are we going to be quiet, what's the rest of our life going to look like, what's your social economic status, you know, are... Am I getting good grades? Am I getting bad grades? Do I like people? Do I not like people? Um, just all kinds of stuff like that. I knew when I was in high school, I was super insecure. Um, I was never like, I was never really a really popular person, but I was never like, no one knew me. So I, since I did play softball and I did you know, I did art, I did a couple clubs, I did like reach out to people, so I did know a few people, um, a good bit of people actually, and they were super awesome, like it was never hard to find friends because um, our high school just really, I feel like our class was just really close with each other, so that was never hard, but I was always insecure in the sense of thinking about um, like what does he or she think about me, like do they like me, do they not like me, um, like who am I I feel like I want to act one way but then again if I get a reaction from someone I feel like I shouldn't act that way so with me it was always super excitiveness every time something small would happen or something like on the scale of being exciting but not too exciting I would just I just get so super excited like it just everything seemed to have a deeper meaning than um, some of my friends. So like when the teacher or the professor or someone said something and it was like, okay, it's like a level of, okay, it's kind of exciting, but not exciting. I would be like gun ho like, let's go, let's do this. Like, this is super exciting. And I found out that like a lot of my friends were not like that. They were not excited about school. Um, it's just that kind of stuff. So that's when I, I knew I was outgoing and I knew I, I, um, I found joy in a lot more things than peop the people that people wouldn't have as far as like academics, um, just real small stuff. So I started kind of getting insecure about that. Um, so I would, I would like different things, but as I got really excited and as I expressed how much I like those things, um, I kind of felt embarrassed because no one, no one else would react the same way or the main question I was always thinking to myself is what are they thinking of me you know do they think I'm cool do they like me do they not like me and of course high school you you want everyone to like you because if they don't work it's around and a bunch of drama spreads but um yeah high school was just really it was more of finding who I am who I want to be and I'd say high school, I never really got to fully express who I was. I was always back and forth with myself. Um, I would like express who I was and then I'd get negative feedback through facial expressions or I'd get feedback saying like, you have a great attitude, you're super outgoing, like keep going. And I just kind of fluctuated between back and forth because I, I would be myself and then I'd get feedback who or who I thought myself was I'd get feedback and then I try to change it to alter like does that make me happy like I'd always question myself is this really who I'm supposed to be is this really what I'm supposed to do and um I'd say high school that was that was the hardest part for me 
going into college my freshman year was not the most perfect as far as being in, as far as being secure uh, I think a lot of people that transition you're moving away from home you're forming independence I think for a lot of people that's really difficult um, but in college is when I started noticing individualistic differences between me and um, my peers so like I said I would get really excited over small things like the professors would ask questions and I would raise my hand and be like oh pick me like I'm super excited about like this like let's go let's learn and obviously not many not many people my age feel that way but um yeah so I'd always act on that I'd always act like oh I'm super excited and then like I said people would look at me like who the hell are you so um I get that kind of feedback but come sophomore year I would say that um, not only did I finally express who I was as far as being outgoing and being crazy and laughing and just being me but I also started to let go of what other people thought of me so I have came to the realization and I think a lot of people do around this age is that once you branch out of high school, you are no longer kind of in your own class. I mean, you are with college, but you get so much independence. So when you graduate high school, you're ready to be an adult. You're ready to form your life, get your career, get your significant other, form a family, get a job, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So really, sophomore, junior year is the time when I kind of changed my perception from what do they think of me to be who you are and those who like me are gonna like me and those who don't aren't gonna like me and that's okay um it was it's really hard to accept especially when you think you're a nice person to everyone and when you feel yourself that you can't do no wrong or harm it's really hard to accept that someone wouldn't like you um some people are just just don't like it like I know I'm really outgoing, and if you're really outgoing, maybe you're annoying to those who aren't outgoing. Maybe you're annoying to those who are introverted versus extroverted. Uh, You know, it's always hard to to be yourself when you get judgmental um, views or opinions. But the way I look at it is, um, if you if you really want to give up, you know, being who you are just to suit someone's opinion. Or being who you are in order to get the satisfaction of someone liking you in the end that's not that's not gonna give you happiness that's not gonna give you um, strength to grow it's not gonna let you be who you are you're not gonna find who you are if you're always trying to please other people because um, if you think about it like let's say like I get super excited about something, but I'm kind of embarrassed that I get excited about it because not many people do. Um, So let's say I get like super excited and I I express that. I express that in class. I express that in my friend group um, at work and no one else seems to be laughing about it or getting excited or doing as much as I do, you know, like over the top. Well, that's how you feel. So I understand to some degree of withdrawing that excitement just for others sake if it really annoys them but at the same time if you aren't your own person then you're just being a replicate of what people want you to be if you don't stand out of the crowd you know that's okay like you don't have to fit in with everyone you don't have to be the exact same You don't have to say, oh, this is acceptable and this is not acceptable. No, because no one's the same. And normal, normal doesn't even exist. Normal doesn't, norm, there is no normal. Like, people vary in every certain way and you're beautiful just the way you are. Like, there's so many, so many different varying characteristics amongst people that in the end, like, there is no normal. So if you're happy, then be happy. If you're outgoing, then be outgoing. If you get excited over little things, then express that excitement. And I'm sorry, but if people don't like it, 
then at least you're being who you are and at least you're being happy. At least you're being yourself. You're looking out for you. You have to look out for yourself before you look out for others. Because if, if you're always worried about what people are thinking, then, you know, they're going to control that. And nobody can look out for you more than you can look out for you. So those are just, those are just, a, that guy just cut me off, really. Those are just a couple of the um, feelings I have and just the tips. I know, like I said, that was more of a personal perspective, what I've, what my experiences have been. I'm definitely like, this is definitely a transformation in high school in like a year ago. I definitely wouldn't have had the nerve to like do these videos. I would not want to put myself out there. I would definitely care way too much of what people thought, what I looked like. I mean, come on, a hair up, no makeup. Uh, I wouldn't have did that a year ago. So I'm extremely like happy with who I'm becoming. And there's just this source of freedom when you, when you just love yourself and you love God and you let others who love you naturally love you. It's not a force. You don't force anyone to like you. You know, you don't. You don't put on a fake mask. You don't try to be something or someone that you're not. And there's just so much freedom in that. There's so much love and there's so much grace that you give yourself. And that's when you find happiness. That's when you, when you accept who you are, when you love who you are, and you give grace for the times that you aren't who you are. So that's all I have on that topic. Um, if it kind of went longer than I expected it to but I don't know like if you guys think otherwise or you have any comments just let them below or text me or message me in person um, I'm super thankful for you guys watching this video it means a lot to me that you support you know what I love to do I love speaking I love photography videos that's just that's just right down my alley so thanks for watching this video if you got this far and I'll see you next time Bye.